Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games. Today I'm going to be showing you two different ways to create a C++ project in Unreal Engine 4. Now the first way is if you're creating a brand new project, you can create a C++ project uh, from the start. So to do that, just launch your engine version. I'm using 4.15 for this example. Uh, go into the New Project tab, the C++ sub tab, and then you can choose whatever template you want to start with. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to go with the basic code project. Uh, and I'm going to name this CPP for uh, C++. Right? So in order for um, you to be able to use a or to create a C++ project, you need to have some kind of uh, editor to make it work or IDE that supports C++. So I think the most common one that PC users use is uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and for Mac I think you have to use Xcode. So I have Microsoft Visual Studio so we'll see that run uh, as the project files are created. So we'll say create project and what this will do is you know it'll create the project like normal right and it'll start opening up the uh, the UE4 editor, but it also generates all the C++ code needed, um, and then it'll open up your, uh, you know, your your uh, IDE environment, I guess. So uh, we'll just go ahead and wait for this to generate, and then we'll come back once it's ready. All right, so the project has loaded up, or rather, the editor has. And one thing that you'll notice that's different from the blueprint versions is that you'll see this compile button at the top. And what this does is it allows you to kind of hot reload the game, uh, you know, and all the source files from the editor rather than always having to build from Visual Studio. Now, on my other window here, Visual Studio has loaded, and you can see down in the bottom that it's currently parsing through all the files in the solution. All right. Um, so once it's done doing that, you know, it's ready to, you know, for you to begin working on it. Technically, you can begin working on it right now. Um, I just usually like to wait the first time for everything to be initialized so that there's no errors, uh, you know, and we don't end up ruining our project from the start. Okay, so wait until that says it's ready and then we'll build. All right, so once it says that it's ready, we can go ahead and go to build and say build solution. All right, so that will start building everything in the engine files here, you know, the UE4 and the CPP project. Um, not sure why it's delaying, but it should start. Okay, so it'll go ahead and start to build. It shouldn't take too long. Um, usually, the first time takes the longest, or you know, anytime you uh, rebuild a, a project, um, meaning you delete all the intermediate files and uh, Visual Studio files, and then kind of recompile from there. Uh, that will always take a longer time. Uh, but after your kind of initial build, all other future builds should be. Uh, faster okay so anyways once that's built we can go back to our project now and you can see you know everything is working no errors popped up um, if you do have any errors it'll show it in kind of the bottom right corner here it'll say that there's an error uh, but you can also hit compile from here and then once it succeeds it'll say compile complete and then you know everything's good to go and you're free to start working in your project all right so there's the first method for creating a C++ project in the next one we'll look at creating a C++ project from an already blueprint project. So here we are in a blueprint project right now uh, and you can tell because there is no compile button at the top all right so to add or basically to convert this to a C++ project all you need to do is just add a new C++ class and it will create it for you. So to do that there's a couple different ways uh, you can do it from the content browser you can right click go to new C++ class that will open up the class wizard and you can choose whatever one you want uh, you can add it from here all right add a C++ class and you can also go to file and then say new C++ class so we'll just do that for right now okay and I'm gonna just create an empty class here say next you can tell it where to go you know whatever kind of folder you want but always make sure it's in this folder okay um, any kind of subfolders you know whatever you want to name the subfolders you know, feel free to name them whatever you want. Uh, and then you can tell it whether it's a public class, which is, you know, usually for the uh, header files, or private if it's for a CPP. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit create class, and it'll start creating the, um, the code, compiling it, and again, it'll open up either Visual Studio or Xcode or, you know, one of the other um, IDEs that you might have. All right, so once your class has been added, it should open up 
uh, Visual Studio or Xcode, of course, to the class that you've just added, you'll see that there's a default uh, constructor in here, and that's just because of the type that I chose. Uh, depending on the type that you choose, there'll be different things here. Um, that yeah that show up by default but anyways for all intents and purposes that's really all you need to do again you can hit build build solution it'll build the project for you there shouldn't be any error. and you know once everything's ready you can start coding uh, so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you like this video um, if you like it like or subscribe and I will see you in the next one